Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial on test link from rcvacademy.com. In this tutorial, we are going to explore a bit more about the requirement specification section and the requirement section in test link. Um, in the previous tutorial, we have seen how you can create the requirement and different aspects of the requirement in test link. Uh, in this tutorial, we will explore a bit more of the options available in test link for the requirement management. So we have seen the requirement specification section uh, previously uh, and we have covered how you can create the requirement specification and then the requirements requirements below that particular specification. Um, now what you can do is uh, you can also export all the requirement specification in a project. So uh, if you click on this export all requirement specification button uh, you can create um, the export file name which is an XML file name um, uh, available uh, and there could there are different file formats available as well so you, you need to configure those and then if you want to export attachments as well you can just check that box and click on export so that will export all the requirements specification and there is option to import the requirement specification as well from external sources so for example you have requirement specification in document uh, doc file or xml file you can choose that file um, and import that particular uh, set of requirement into this instance of test link uh, that's the possibility for exporting and uh, exporting and importing the requirement uh, coming back to the home page you can see uh, the requirement overview uh, once you click on the requirement overview all the requirement uh, specifications so all the requirements for uh, uh, available in this particular project will be listed here right so you can see uh, the four requirements are listed below the registration functionality with all the uh, important aspects of the requirement when they were created when they were modified whether these requirements are frozen or not uh, what type of requirement are these and what is the status of these requirements so this gives a clear picture of what all requirements are available in the project and what is the status of those requirement um, then you have different options for um, filtering uh, etc uh, in the requirement now going back to the requirement section you can generate requirement specification document what exactly this does is uh, if you see here uh, if you select uh, show as an html you go back to the project um, all the requirement below this project so at the moment only one requirement folder is there which is required registration functionality all the details for these requirements will be presented in a document format so if you see here uh, this is requirement specification document that got created automatically by test link and in the table of contents you can see that requirement um, registration function functionality and all the requirements are being listed below this particular um, table uh, below this functionality right in the table of contents now all these requirements who is the author what type of requirement etc and the scope of these requirement you will see that is all listed below that okay and then it also shows the coverage so if you remember in the first requirement that we uh, mentioned that uh, five test cases are required for this particular um, requirement that was just an approximation so it shows 0 of 5 as a coverage that there are uh, no test cases as of now for this particular requirement so this is very good functionality to figure out the traceability of the requirement uh, with the test cases whether that particular requirement has been covered with any of the test cases and whether uh, the number of test cases that were assumed to be documented for that particular requirement whether those many test cases have been documented or not in the others you can see i haven't changed any of the number of test cases so by default it's just taken one and showing the coverage and then below that you can see it's showing the bit of detail so ideals in ideal scenarios there will be a lot of details 
below all these requirements so this is pretty nice functionality in testlink um, you can also have uh, ms word format document for this uh, these requirements specification report as well uh, after that you will see that you have the option to search the requirement or search the requirement specification uh you can you have option to assign the requirement and the requirement monitoring overview so if you click on search requirement it will open the search requirements pane and in the left hand side you can see you can search by the id document id or the version title etc and also the date range so a lot of options for searching the requirements are available there um, uh, going back and then you can search the requirement specification different criteria is available uh, for searching the requirement specification if you don't provide any of the criteria and just click on find it will search all the uh, requirement specification that are available in the project so at the moment you can see only one registration functionality requirement specification is returned uh, going back uh, you can assign the requirement as well so for example at the moment um, since there are no test cases in the project you don't see any of the assignment options available but as we move further in the tutorials we'll create the test cases further and then we'll, I'll show you how you can assign the requirements to the test cases uh, similarly uh, requirement monitoring overview so here you can see you can monitor the requirement that you are interested in um, or, or high risk requirement you can just click on uh, the little icon here and then you'll start getting notification or you'll start uh, getting uh, it you you will be mostly you know monitoring those requirement um, whichever you feel like uh, are more important in terms of the risk and uh, delivery dates so that's pretty much all about the requirement specification and what all uh, sections are available for the requirements so you have um, a requirement specification and then below you can create the requirements the detailed requirement with the different options available and uh, then you can have traceability as well which we'll cover in the next tutorial so hope you like the video please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching